We're on the Glen Nevis path, immediately above the Nevis Gorge. And this rock that I'm sitting on is a really nice example of what's called a semi-pelite. So that's a, a rock type which is a mixture of mudstone, so metamorphosed mudstones are pelites, and then there's other things mixed in as well, so there are more sandy layers, and there are some more calcium carbonate rich layers as well, carbonate rich layers. So you can see that it's got different coloured layering in it. This very light layer here is very sand rich, very quartz rich, and there aren't very diff many different minerals developed in it. And the nice thing about these different layers that you get is they have different chemistry. You get different metamorphic minerals growing in them. So the darker layers, which are the mud layers, you can see they're developing some cleavage in them, and that's all the micas, which are growing biotite mica in particular, which is growing and lining up. But there's another light layer just here, which uh, has these very large pink minerals growing in it, all lined up within this light layer, and they're garnet. And this is one of the more calcium carbonate rich layers. And if I pour water on it, it shows up very clearly. I'll get rid of that. So we get very nicely developed garnets in these calcium carbonate rich layers, in particular where they're in contact with the mud rich layers. And garnet is a mineral that needs a two plus metal cation, aluminium, silicon and oxygen to make it in its crystal structure. And within these carbonate rich layers, the two plus cation is calcium, and the calcium end member of garnet, grossula, is stable at lower pressures than many of, many of the other end members, the iron, the magnesium end members. So it starts to form, if you bury a rock, Regions where there's calcium available to make the garnet, and the aluminium and silicon of course, they will start to grow garnet crystals at lower pressure, so earlier in the burial process, than things which are more rich in iron or magnesium. So that then means that these garnets have longer to grow, because they start growing sooner, they carry on growing all the way through the burial, and then as everything is being exhumed and being brought back up to the surface, they'll carry on growing until they're shallower than the other composition to garnet and they'll start breaking down into the later stage as well. So I've already posted a video from around here which have, has back reaction, breakdown halos around garnets and that's within the pelitic mica schist regions where you have an iron rich garnet that's growing. Here these calcium rich garnets don't really show those back reaction halos because they've been stable until it was really quite shallow. It's a really nice example of the different kinds of mineral growth that you get in different compositions of rocks here.